Hey team, so today I want to talk about presenting the coaching opportunity. It's something that I think a lot of people struggle with because they're just not sure how or when or why or where. <laughs> and so we struggle and we, we just end up not doing it. And so we may have these dreams and goals and desires to build this business and we believe in it and we believe in ourselves, but we're really not sure where to start. And so I just wanted to cover kind of the basics of how to um, talk to somebody about the coaching opportunity and, and share it with them and, and present it to them. And as long as you go into it knowing, well, they could either say yes or no. And if they say no, then I'm going to move on and talk to the next person. If they say yes, then great. I'll help get them started. But you have to go into it with the mindset that even if you hear a no, which you're probably going to hear more no's than yeses, that that's okay. That that means that you're doing something, that you've got your, your foot in the door, that you are working your business. And so it's it's a good thing if to, if you hear no's because that just means you're presenting the business and you're working. So don't be discouraged by the no's that you're going to hear. Every successful coach hears the word no all the time. But what makes them successful is that they continue and they fight for the business and they fight for their future by working and staying diligent no matter what the outcome is that somebody says, the outcome of a conversation. But here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how and when to present the business because that may be where the hang up is for some of you. I'm not sure, but I want to make sure that we cover that. That way you know that you can go out there with confidence. You can have these conversations um, with confidence knowing that you are building your business and you're putting the work and effort into it. So number one, what you need to do is if you are ready to start building your team, trying to get to Emerald, which is the first rank, which allows you to get free beach body customers. Um, you are now eligible for the team cycle bonus, which just means extra money that your income is going to multiply rather than, um, you know, you're not only just going to add, you're going to multiply because you're, you're benefiting from the coaches on your team. You want to get to Emerald. If you want to build this business, that's your first stop. And so you have to present the business in order to get there, and you need to present it to two, at least two people. I would say three to five people a week if you can do that, if you can manage. First thing, make a list of the people that you know who you think would make great coaches. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to cold call them. That doesn't mean you're going to get on the phone and say, hey, would you like to become a beach body coach? Let me tell you all about it. No, 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 no. That's not how this business works. This business is about building relationships. It's not about just getting people to sign up and, and just telling them about the business and not building that relationship. So what you need to do is you need to connect with them. You need to have conversations with them and you need to figure out if this is something that they want to do. But get to know them if you haven't talked to them in a long time. Catch up on life. Don't immediately dive into talking about Beachbody because then they're going to sense that you're not genuine in what you're doing and that you only want something from them rather than something for them. And so make a list and then just plan to talk to one or two people on your list each day and present the business opportunity to them. I'm telling you what, if you present the business five times in a week, there's a good chance you could go Emerald in the first week of your business or wherever you're at in your business now. So make a list. Second thing is host a challenge group and have that conversation, present the business to the people in your challenge group. This is really the best place to do it. Um, just because you've got the people and they're on doing the beach body workouts, they're probably drinking Shakeology as well, and so they are familiar with what products are there. And so most of the time, they really want the discount on Shakeology, and so you can tell them about becoming a coach and saving all that money on Shakeology. So um, and on everything else, but you have the greatest chance with the people in your challenge groups because they can also see how challenge groups work and function and kind of what you do as a coach. So talking to people in your challenge groups is great. Um, also just talking about it on social media, talking about your job as a coach and sharing what you do. This is not about just posting spammy stuff saying, hey, I'm a Beachbody coach, you want to join my team? This is like Share your experience and your story and why you're, why you're a coach. Why did you decide to get healthy? Why did you decide to start helping other people get healthy? Being a coach is something that's a part of your life. That, and it's not something that you're forcing on anybody. It's, some, it's something that allows you to really help other people. And so you can talk about coaching on social media just to spark some interest and have those conversations. It doesn't mean that everybody's going to be flooding your social media page and wanting to be a coach, but it's going to spark more interest than if you didn't talk about it. So do that. Talk about it on social media. 
um, and do it your own way. There's no there's no cookie cutter way to talk about the business on social media. There's no right way to say it. There's no wrong way to say it as long as you're being genuine, being you, and explaining your story. Um, here's what you need to do. When you are having that conversation with somebody and you're not really sure how to bring it up, and you're talking about health and fitness, um, or if you know wherever the conversation goes, you can just ask them this very basic, very simple question, and that is, have you ever considered becoming a coach? And from there, they'll either say, well, what's a coach? No, I've never heard about that. Tell me more. Or they're going to say, you know, I have it. It seems really interesting. Can you tell me more about it? Or what does that mean? There you go. So you can explain it and tell them more about it. But just asking that simple question, have you ever considered becoming a coach? Or have you ever considered doing what I do? And if that's all you have to ask, if they say, no, I've not considered it, great, move on to the next person. No big deal. Um... Make sure that you are sending the business opportunity webinar that I recorded a few weeks ago. You can send that recording to them or the call that Michelle has done. So if they're really interested but they want more information, they want to hear maybe somebody else's story, these are great, great tools that you can send to them to make sure that you have put the right tools in their hands. Um, but let me just tell you this because you never know until you ask. And it in life, when we want to do something new and make a change, and, and see our life go in a new and exciting, different direction, change has to happen. So you have to put yourself out there. You have to do things you're not normally used to doing, which may for you mean talking to new people, making new relationships, bringing up the coaching opportunity. But when you do that, you're setting yourself up for something brand new and exciting. You're, you're putting yourself out there. And so I just want to encourage you, that if you haven't really presented the business but you do believe in the coaching opportunity and you, you it's something you want for your life, you need to step out. You need to just talk to people, build relationships, be you, share your story. But you've got to make a change and that may mean getting outside of your comfort zone, doing something that doesn't feel so safe because it's not comfortable and having that conversation with people. And I think you're just going to be amazed at the response when you put yourself out there, when you share your heart, share your passion for health and fitness, and getting other people, because trust me when I tell you, there are plenty of people out there who would be perfect as a beach body coach, and they would be great with this opportunity, and they're just waiting. They, they may not even know the opportunity exists yet, but that's what you're there for, is to tell them about it, get them plugged into your team, lead them and and have a great time doing it but that's how you need to do it you need to pre start presenting the business if you haven't already don't overcomplicate it be you be genuine just share your heart and your story as a coach why you became a coach and that's what's going to draw people catch their attention and that's what's going to allow you to build your, build your team build your income build your network of influence and help people truly get healthy through being a coach. So I hope this helps. Let me know. You can leave your comments below, whatever questions you have. We can even start a discussion about it if you have more questions or maybe need some other ideas of how um, you know you can specifically present the business to maybe specific pers people or persons. Um, so hope that helps. Let me know how I can help you more. I challenge you to get out there, put yourself out there, do something new, and see what happens. I'll talk to you soon.